Hey, hey Aquarius, intuitive soul coach here with your September 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius, you have two cards showing up in your future position. So a lot of activity based on some decisions and inspiration that come to you in the month of September. Now, in the recent past here, you have the gold card. This is all about solid finances, investments. Where are you putting your time, your energy, your efforts, your money? You may be looking into what is working best for you long term. Okay, this is about satisfying work. You may be looking into new ideas that can build upon your wealth. Some of you are studying, doing research, or looking into the banking industry, maybe looking into high yield savings account. I am getting something here with interest rates. You're staying in your integrity though, and you are looking into your deep values. What is working? What is aligning? What do you need to get rid of? I am getting that there may have been an ending whether this is in the physical sense, it could have been a job that's ended in the past. For others of you, it may have been an old way of doing things. Something has come to an end that's actually opened up a brand new door, a brand new opportunity for you to be in something for the long haul, to open up this new door that's gonna last you a lifetime here. So I really like what I'm seeing here. Now Aquarius, you have the light bulb showing up in the present month of September. The light bulb goes perfect with your, your airy dynamic. This is about lucrative ideas, new income sources. You're getting hit with inspiration this month. So whatever it is that you are making a move on, whatever it is you're planning, if you are looking into where you're investing your time, money, energy, and efforts, I feel like you are moving in the right direction here. Something where you can build a legacy, you can increase your finances. Some of you are entrepreneurs, others of you, there is a new job coming in or some of you may have just received a new job, a promotion, a raise, because I feel like there's a little bit more expansion here for you, a little more creativity. If you're an entrepreneur, I feel like that inspiration is striking. If you've had a little bit of writer's block or if you've felt like you haven't quite had the right moves or the right ideas, something's coming to you here. And it could even be stemmed around some sort of like-minded conversation that you have with another individual, another partnership. It could even be that you've looked around at your competition and you're doing a little bit of research. Not that you're copying at all because you're very authentic, but you may be looking around and saying, okay, I got to up my, up my game. If someone is charging this and I'm way below or way, way above, you may just be taking a look at what's working for everyone else and how you can incorporate some new things into your business so you can be in the game as well. So I'm kind of getting that here for you entrepreneurs. So there could be an increase in prices on your end or on your business end, or if you are in a career where you're due for a raise or promotion, I see some sort of increase here showing up. There's also an increase of activity going on in your mind this month. So make sure that you're not overthinking things and second guessing those intuitive nudges that come your way, Aquarius, because your mind is bright and you have a lot of imaginate imagination this month and you can use that imagination to expand business, career, uh, education, wealth, all of the above here. Because in the near future, you have the chest card and the hand card. So this could be out into maybe October through the rest of 2023 here, you have the chess card and the hand. So this is about you manifesting money. It also talks about strategic planning, right? Where's my money going? What can I do to get to the top here? I'm getting emperor vibes for you as well. Some of you may have strong Aries placements in your chart, or you could be taking action because now we have the south and north node from Aries uh, and Libra that was in Taurus and Scorpio. So we're going to see some changes here where a lot of action is being taken. 
Now, when the hand card shows up, you're reaching some goals here, and I feel like you're reaching them by the end of the year, Aquarius. This is financial assistance, possibly hands-on work. You may get help receiving some sort of abundance, okay? This could also be if you're dealing with a legality, maybe you're, you're hiring an attorney, you're hiring a lawyer, or you're hiring someone to help you or give you knowledge. I am getting here help, helpful people, resourceful people that can spark some ideas within you or you have some ideas to reach out to specific people that can help you make the right moves because the chess card here is about the long game, the long haul, which we see showing up here in the recent past. So with the chess, we all know that chess isn't a quick, impulsive game. It is a game that we play with thought, with our you know rational, logical, analytical minds, and we think things through before we, we make our next move. But we have to look at our competition, right? Our opponents, what moves are they making? because that's going to also interfere with the moves that we make as well. Some of you may be looking at target market. You may be looking at, you know, what other companies are paying as well. So I absolutely get without a doubt that you're really using your mind wisely here and it's going to pay off in big ways. There's strategy here, big strategy, wise spending. This could be also some of you are thinking about retirement. You may be looking into pension or 401ks or things of that nature. Some of you are military. You have military family. I'm getting here that some of you are hitting a military marker. So maybe you or a spouse or a family member has been in the military for a certain amount of time and now you're able to reap the benefits or the reward. Same goes for a job. Even if you've received an offer, perhaps there was a 60-day period and after that 60-day or 90-day, there was going to be a bump, an increase, or insurance or benefits would be activated. There's something here with an activation or the time. The timing is right showing up. So I'm really loving this for you. So let's dive in Aquarius and take a look at what's going on when it comes to wealth, finances, money, career, income, all the above. We're going to pull your whole Celtic cross here. We're going to look at all the cards except the final outcome. We'll take a peek at the final outcome when we get there. So what do we have here, please, for Aquarius? There, yep, there was a new beginning or heading towards thinking about some changes here when it comes to how you spend, how you make, uh, in your environment as well, because you do have the fool in the recent past. So what's above you? What's in your headspace? Four of Cups. I feel like it's important for you to focus on the cups that are in front of you versus what's been lost in the past because some of you, you did, you lost out on an opportunity. You may have lost out on money or something was passed, it passed you by. Or maybe some of you are thinking, I wish I would have started saving, you know, 10 years ago or I wish I would have put this amount of money away. So you're looking at those things now and some of you may feel like you're playing catch up, but I actually feel like you are making some smart investments and smart choices where you'll actually catch up quite quickly. For those of you that have lost money due to maybe bankruptcy, foreclosure, credit card debt, you know, all those things, I feel like there's money being uh, paid out, paid back, or again, you will catch up. So your overall energy here for the month of September is the judgment. This is a, a new opportunity. So again, whatever's happened here in the past, Maybe there were some, some negative consequences because of the choices that you have made, right? It's part of our growth. It's part of our evolution. On the way towards success, right next to it, on that step up is failure, right? Failure is part of that process, part of that path. So many people look at failure way over here and success way over here, like the two are way apart, but they're really not. They're right next to each other on the same ladder, right? So for some of you that feel like you failed, it was just an opportunity for you to grow and for you to learn so you can get to where you are. There have been definitely some choices in the past that maybe you wish you could have done things differently, 
but you can't dwell on that because we can't change the past but what you can do is make some new choices here right now and the judgment card is all about your purpose it's about your calling so this is about you changing your life for the better because you've learned you've learned in the past what it was like to maybe go without or what it was like to really save for something or to lose it all whatever it may be here You've gone through it. And with the judgment here, it's important to not judge yourself, Aquarius. It's important to heal the wounds, the financial wounds of the past, the debt, the scarcity mindset, the poverty consciousness that maybe you felt like you were going through, the lack of mentality. Because some of you are really hard on yourself and you may feel like you're punishing yourself and subconsciously even self-sabotaging at times because of the choices that have been made, maybe made by other people that you've been caught up in or by yourself but spirit is saying let go of all of that pretend that was a whole another lifetime ago because in a sense that's just an illusion of the past right just like when we think too far into the future what we have is right here right now so focus on staying in the present this month because you do have this opportunity here to redeem yourself in a sense you have a second chance this is a rebirth it's a rite of passage so forgive the the misfortunes forgive the fall from grace or whatever's happened in the past here because yeah there is negative consequences there's consequences for every single action we choose and i can guarantee that every single one of you watching including myself we've had consequences for actions that we didn't know how they were going to turn out right but we can't hang on to that and hold resentments or bitterness or anger or lower vibrations, it's important to release, forgive, let those things go and start again because a new day has risen here and you have the opportunity to come out on the other side, bigger, better and stronger. And you see here, one side of her, you know, is the light, one side is the dark. You, you wouldn't know one without the other, right? That's duality. And that's what we've come here on earth to, to learn about is that duality. So judgment day has come in a sense. And I feel like you are moving towards changing your life for the better. And that's what these ideas are all about. That's why you are really taking a look at your values, your integrity. You're making sure that you are in a satisfying job where you're feeling heard and valued, but you're not going to let the past people or the past energies or situations bring you down any longer. Now, there's some truths here showing up because the moon is, is in your challenge for the month of September. So there is something here that's being illuminated and it makes sense with it being right on top of the judgment because what's being illuminated is something that's not working for you, right? Something of the past or maybe a job that you've gotten into or got into a while ago, maybe a boss that was filling you with empty promises, maybe that offer you thought you had in the bag. Something is being illuminated to you, but it's for your high is good so you can say all right well that's all i wanted the cold hard truth even even if it was disappointing but now i can move forward and that's what you're doing here because there's some sort of illusion that's revealed and we just talked about the illusions of the past or too far into the future and what it's going to do is it's going to help you take off that blindfold so something that maybe you couldn't see coming maybe you felt it coming because a lot of you are highly empathic you're highly sensitive you can pick up on the energies right and when this moon comes in here it actually shows up there right amongst the, the judgment, right? The moon, the sun, the judgment, and then the world. So I do feel here that you're being offered this, this new opportunity to kind of wake up in a sense, to expose what you need to in order to move forward and gain the clarity that you need. You've been dreaming. I feel that. You've been dreaming. You've been having really wonderful ideas. You've been feeling like you want more inspiration, and it's coming in here. For those of you that are saying, oh, Melissa, I've been confused for so long. I haven't had clarity. I haven't felt inspired. That's about to make an appearance in your world because I feel like you're taking off this beautiful blindfold here and you're getting honest about your next steps. You're getting honest about your future and what you can do to grow and evolve even more so when it comes to your finances and your money, but most importantly, your personal self, self-development here. A lot of you have really come to this place of, of emotional maturity, financial maturity. Uh, you're, you're coming a long way from where you were even five years ago, 10 years ago. 
even if you felt like you've went through a period where you've had to start over. Now, Aquarius, what do we have below you? The Two of Cups, some sort of partnership. It was a business opportunity or that perfect job that maybe you thought you'd be in forever. Again, some of you, if you are military or maybe you've been in a job for 20 years, I just heard teacher as well. Some of you may be teachers, possibly professors. Maybe you've taught in this area, but now you're gonna switch things up a little bit and your calling is to teach in a new sense. Maybe it's to teach spiritual work on YouTube, right? It could be anything that you've built the stepping stones upon, anything that you're curious about or inquisitive about. I feel like it's coming together, right? After some time of really wanting to manifest, wanting to attract what it is that you've wanted, I get that all of that hard work here. Everything that you thought was maybe for nothing, you're going to see that it was all a part of the stepping stones on the way towards your success here. So it's about being in partnership, right? You've went through a period of self-reflection. You've went through a period of separation, rejection, right? Something that may have felt a little bit off key or off balance, but things are coming together here in a new way. So what we have in the recent past is the fool. I feel like you were fearful of a new beginning. Some of you, because you've been fooled in the past, because someone may have fed you empty promises, or maybe you, you trusted yourself at that time to maybe start that job or start that opportunity and it failed. And now you may be looking at yourself at times and saying, well, can I really trust myself? Because I went in that direction, but it failed. That doesn't mean that you're a failure, okay? I really don't like that that word or the energy around failure because so many people think of it as a complete fall from grace, right? Fall from the mountain. I have to start over again. But what you're not, you're not realizing at times is you're not starting completely from scratch because you've never, you know, it's not like you've never climbed the mountain. If there's a fall from it, you know where all the steps are this time. You know to wear some, some shoes for climbing, right? You know what the weather's going to be like. You know what to expect. So you can use what you've learned to, to move up this mountain uh, in a more graceful way and to get there even quicker this time around. So don't be fearful of a new beginning. So many people get a little bit nervous with the fool because I've heard so many people say, well, I'm 55 or I'm 68. I don't want to start over. I don't want to start from scratch. But sometimes we have to open up to that beginner's uh, mindset, right? That fool energy here and start over, but give ourselves some, cut ourselves some slack. Instead of cracking the whip or being too hard on ourselves or saying it's not going to be worth it, right? It's going to be worth it because you already know the moves, right? Just because something didn't work the first time around, uh, you can incorporate different steps this time around and you know where your footing is at. So the fool says there's a new beginning coming in here for you. Don't lose sight of what's at the top of that mountain for you. Don't lose sight of the prize, whatever that is for you, whatever success, abundance, wealth, Whatever goals, milestones that you want to achieve, don't let some of those setbacks in the past get you in that state of fear. And this has been coming up in almost every single reading. For so, for those of you that watch your rising, your moon, and your sun sign, you may have noticed that there's a little bit of repetition going on because fear has been a little prevalent in the month of September. So it could be, I feel intuitively, we're going to see some bigger shifts on a global scale and it's rippling out into the lives of us all, right? So I feel that there could be some shifts when it comes to currency, global uh, energies, money, all of these things and there could be a little bit of fear around this energy but I've been talking about the word fearless and the word fearful two completely different energies but very similar at the same time fearful means that you're full of fear and the way I've been describing it is sitting in your driveway and you're sitting next to fear because fear is part of the human experience right and then you have fearless and that is not an absent of fear. You're still sitting in the car in the driveway with fear. But the difference between fearless and fearful is are you going to let fear jump in the driver's seat? Or are you going to tell fear to kick it in the back seat and buckle up? Because if you let that fearful 
get in the driver's seat, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to sit in the driveway because fear is going to say there's too much traffic, there's a detour, an animal's going to jump out in the road, a roadblock is ahead, I don't have enough gas, the car's going to break down, right? We, we tend to make excuses based on fears, based on illusions that don't even exist. All of those scenarios, they don't exist, right? It's fear telling you that they do exist when they don't. We haven't got there yet. Fearless is not an absent of fear, but it's about fear getting on board because again, we need fear. It's part of this experience. Fear can be helpful, but when we give it a back seat, right? Buckle up fear, get in the back seat. You're not driving this, this boat today or this ship today or this car today because I want to get out of the driveway, right? And you're going to go on that journey. And that's what the fool card is about. And that's what I see you doing here. All right. Uh, yeah, we're done talking about this fear because I feel like you're ready to move on. And for a lot of you, you're already out of the driveway. But there is this energy with the Four of Cups coming in here in the headspace that you may still be focused on some of those those tra those things we talked about in the past, right? Running out of gas, car breaking down, all of those things here. So I do feel like there is a little bit of, of regret because those things may have happened to you before, right? Maybe you went down the road and a tire fell off and you're thinking, oh, great, I have to wheel that tire. There's more work. Now I'm just going to have to stay put in the driveway for a while. Yeah. I hope you're following me symbolically here. Uh, but this is about you not letting those past experiences hold you in the damn driveway because you want to go out and have a new journey. You want to have the experiences and you want to not only get out of the driveway, but you want to hit the road and feel good and feel the wind in your hair and the, the sun shining and it being a beautiful day and you have a full tank of unleaded, right? And the world is in front of you. And that's where I feel you're heading here. But you got to let go of those fears of of not being able to move or the fears of any illusions that something is going to happen worry about it if it happens right that's something we get stuck in as humans so much we get stuck in thinking that something is going to happen and we think about it so much and sometimes we actually can manifest those fears now in the near future queen of coins this is someone who doesn't want to uh doesn't want to waste her energy on attachments that are Oh, okay. Some of you still are attached to money, to codependency, okay? Or you're, you may be very attached. Maybe you don't want to get out of the driveway in that, that old beat up car, right? You want to drive the Mercedes and you're not willing to go anywhere unless you have that Mercedes. And maybe the, it's in the neighbor's car or neighbor's driveway next door and in yours, you know, is a, a old Buick and you're thinking, well, I really want to be in that Mercedes. I feel a little bit like I need to just save a little bit more before I, I move forward. So I feel like some of you, it's important to take a look at your values. Take a look at what's important to you. And of course, we can have these nice things. We can have these nice vehicles and homes and take trips and things of that nature. But sometimes the Queen of Pentacles, because she is showing up here in the reverse, she can be a little bit bad with money or she, she likes to be flashy. She likes to enjoy the, the finer things in life and there's nothing wrong with that. But I am getting here, it's important to be resourceful. It's important to check to make sure ahead of time that these things are working for you. So again, going back to the car analogy, right? Make sure that you have gas before you take off. Make sure that things are up and running. You have a full amount of tire pressure in your tires and you make sure that you have plenty of windshield fluid and all those things, right? Because when, when you have this this resource, these resources available to you, it's going to make things a lot smoother to go forward. And that's what you're thinking about. That's what you're thinking about because you don't want to, again, get a mile down the road and you realize you're out of gas and there's not a gas station for 50 miles, right? Then you'd be walking. So a lot of you are taking a look at your values and your beliefs and you're saying, okay, what can I do to prepare for this trip that I have coming in? And this by this trip, this is a new journey, right? A new job opportunity, a new a uh, chance to make more money, to grow. But there is a level of being prepared here and then send in fear to the back seat and then getting ready. And I feel like a lot of you, you're making your move. And your move is to stick that key in the ignition or to push the button, right? And to back out and start on that journey. And I feel like a lot of you, you already have. A lot of you are already 
thousands of miles into that journey. For others of you, you're just pulling out of the driveway. And for others of you, you're closer to your destination than you think here. But I sense that you're not giving up. Because how you're feeling here, Aquarius, is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about accelerating quickly. I love it as we're talking about cars, right? This is about accelerating quickly because once you get on the highway, once you get on that freeway or that Autobahn or wherever you're driving, maybe it's an old backcountry road or maybe it's a, it's a fast-paced energy, wherever, you're hitting that road and you have the the Pedal to the metal. Thank you, spirit. Pedal to the metal is what I just heard here. And you get in your flow and things start happening for you and you're speeding along. You set the cruise control. It's a lot more peaceful, right? Sometimes the hardest part is the planning, the preparing. But once you get up in the uh, the air, right? Just like when you're going flying someplace, once you get up there, then you can just kind of Ah, let your breath out and you can just relax. And I feel like even though the Eight of Wands is a very fast energy, I get that you're on track and it feels smoother, even though it's quick, even though it's fast paced. So example, like we've said, it's like getting on that Audubon or getting on a, a freeway and just hitting cruise control and just kind of going with the flow. Things happen more smoothly for you, but you're, you're hitting 80 on the freeway and it's just a good energy and that's where you're going. So accelerate quickly. You're back on track here, Aquarius, because some of you, you had a little bit of a a little bit of a delay when it comes to this start, right? Some of you, you had to fix that tire before you left or you had to go through some of those fears and say, okay, well, what, what am I releasing? What am I taking with me? And I feel like you are back on track. So this is beautiful. Pedal to the metal. I'm loving that. I might have to title your reading that. All right, Page of Swords, here you are. Remember what we said in the beginning of your reading. We literally said, keep that beginner's mindset. Here you are showing up, Swords energy. Page of Swords is using that brilliant mind of yours, the both the left and the right hemisphere. So that beautiful right creative mind is showing up here and then you have the left uh you know analytical rational logical mind and you're blending the two together and then boom what happens is inspiration strikes you have the light bulb moment here and this is about strategic solutioning right it is about you having the information and being able to connect in to source just like a light bulb right you screw that light bulb in boom you have electricity. Uh, well, hopefully, luckily. Uh, but this is about you being able to find ways to tap into that source. And you are doing just that. And it's going to help you hit the pedal, right? Pedal to the metal and move forward in your career, in your business, in your reputation, in your financial matters. This is a really fun reading. Aquarius, if you're liking this, please hit that thumbs up button. So in your hopes and fears, hopes, fears, dreams, wishes, what do we got here? Seven of coins. Seven of coins is the card of the fruits of your labor. Some of you, you may be at a place right now where something is starting to crack open a little bit and you're wondering, do I keep moving forward with the pedal to the metal, right? And, and moving forward here or do I get off on this exit and do I refuel at this time and get back on or do I take another path? Right? So you may be taking a look at what's going on around you and how you're feeling, how you're doing, how's the car running, right? And you may be saying, is it still on my on my best interest or on my highest path to keep on moving forward? Or can I choose to make a detour? Now, I don't see that there's a detour or roadblock coming in in front of you, Aquarius. What I sense is it's up to you if you want to take that exit, refuel, and head in a new direction. That's what the Seven of Coins is all about. The fruits of your labor are going to pay off, but you may have some choices to make here in the near future. And that's what we were talking about in the past. So I like the Seven of Coins showing up. Now, the fears here are about diminished returns. The fears are, well, what if I don't make that right money move and I don't make as much as I could? Or what if I stay in this line of work a little bit longer just to get these benefits? So you're asking yourself some deep questions. Make sure they align with your integrity, your values, and your beliefs. Now, drum roll, final outcome for you, Aquarius, for the month of September 2023. You have the Seven of Cups. Beautiful. We just talked about options. Seven of Cups is the card of 
choices, right? Choices, fantasies, dreams. You want to make the right choice, but there is a little bit of a need to focus. So what I see happening here, like I said, I don't see necessarily a roadblock or a, a detour ahead of you, but I am seeing that the traffic may start to get a little bit heavy. So what that means is, you may have some options. Do I switch lanes here, right? Do I switch lanes? Do I take this exit? Or can I reroute my GPS navigational system? You know, when she says turn right here, uh, you may decide, do I turn right and just go over here? So you trust your internal navigational system at this time, because there could be something tempting you, right? It could be tempting to maybe take that exit, take a tour, switch lanes, right? But just make sure that you are staying grounded in your goal goals and your reality at this time because it's important to bring those ideas down to fruition. So seven of cups here says that you have some options to really make a big difference in your world. And some of these options may seem better than others. Okay. But don't get lost in the in all the glitter, okay, all the glitter. And there's actually a beautiful card which we may pull. It's all the all that glitters card. Yes, something may look fantastic on the outside but it may not exactly be what you want on the inside. And that's why it's important to stay in your integrity. So when you do attract what it is, it, you follow through, through and through and through, right? It's not just the surface, it's emotional fulfillment, financial security and wealth. It's abundance on all levels, body, mind, soul. So seven of cups here. And also I'm getting a, an energy of be careful what you wish for, right? Because you might just get it, but stay grounded in your reality. Bring those ideas to life. Don't just dream about them because you have this brilliant mind. Use some of this earth energy. Do we have any earth energy here? Okay, we have the queen of coins. She is the only earth. Oh, and the seven. Use the near future, which you have the queen of coins. Use some of that energy to bring your ideas to life. Seven of coins. Use this coin and pentacle realm to ground some of those dreams into reality. So if you need to course correct or pivot or do things differently, give yourself that opportunity to do so. All right, let's take a look and see what messages are coming in Aquarius from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have here for Aquarius? Wisdom of the Oracle, please. September 2023. Thank you. Oh, you have a couple of them. Okay, they're giving me the name here. I know this is a common name, but it could be the name of a company, street, road, or it could be inside of a name, Larson. Okay, Larson. So for example, Larson and Company or, um, oh gosh, any name that has maybe Larson in it or Larson's just the, the name. Please take that as it resonates. Okay, so we have, oh wow, and we talked about this earlier in the very beginning of your reading. We said it's important to stay here in the now, not focus too far into the past or those fears or too far into the future but we must take action right here, right now. And mend any situations that we've had regarding our, our connection with money, right? How do we feel about money? Money is an energy and it is, you know, an equal currency exchange. So are you being, are you being recompensed for the, the work that you're doing? Are you putting out that energy where you're receiving in return? So we have mending here and then here and now. Some of you may be 52 or 32. All right, 52 here. We're going to read the mending card first. And this is all about forgiveness, making amends, and healing after a time of loss. Hello, judgment card. Everyone makes mistakes, especially when you want something very badly. You may come to realize that in chasing after a pretty shiny thing, oh my gosh, we just said this, a pretty shiny thing that you lost sight of long-term sustainable prosperity. Sometimes you make choices that look good at first, but ultimately lead to loss or failure. It's time to forgive yourself and others. Don't blame anyone else. You get to start again, wiser and more mature. The journey to true abundance can be bumpy. Make amends to anyone you may have hurt along the way, especially yourself. Forgive those who may have taken advantage of you. Let go and learn from this. You are now that much closer to achieving the kind of prosperity that really fulfills you. Nothing is ever lost or wasted when you view it from this perspective. What a beautiful clarifier. We talked about all of this in your reading here. 
And then we have card 32, which is, I feel, the main overall energy because a lot of you, you've already worked on the mending piece Okay, and now you are being fully present in the moment. You are living one day at a time. And what you're working on here is golden and your efforts will leave a powerful legacy. Focus not on meeting a goal in the far off future, but on creating your dream right here, right now, Aquarius. Releasing your desire for an outcome and owning that it already exists. It will appear in the material world as if by magic. Claim your prosperity now. The essence is more important than the form. When you are immersed in prosperous thoughts, you automatically tune into a sense of timelessness and unlimited potential. Yes, you can act as if in spite of the temporary outer conditions. So what that means is, yes, if you're looking into your, your neighbor's yard and you see that Mercedes in the driveway, but you're driving the Buick, right? Get into your Buick and, and own it, right? You can pretend that you're driving that Mercedes because I can guarantee you the Buick probably is a lot smoother, right? Maybe, who knows? I've never driven a, a Mercedes. But it's says here, uh, you are prosperous at this moment. What you think now becomes your reality. So stay present. Stay present. That's important. When we, again, we focus too far on the past or too far into the future, we, we leak power. We don't want to leak that power. You have it. You got it going on here. So let's take a look and get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time, Aquarius, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra, the belly area. Nice big breath, two of them if you can. Hold it and release. And I want you to focus on your third eye center with your eyes closed, the area between your eyebrows and the forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animal is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be an animal that's crossed over the rainbow bridge or one at your home currently. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do Aquarius is drop your animals in the comment section box below. And I personally will enter you into that giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. All right, I am loving your animals. Some of you may be 30 years old, born on the 30th, the 26th, or the 10th. You could be 53 years old. You have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith, right? Take a leap of faith. Get out of that driveway. Put the pedal to the metal. Where are you going? Because when you take that leap of faith, it's going to pay off. The grasshopper reminds me of the fool. It's also card three, which is the empress. This is about growth. It is about creativity. It's about abundance. So take that leap and you will be rewarded generously. Next, you have Flamingo. Embrace the in-between. Some of you are in the in-between status of old, old world and new world. That's the judgment here, okay? The old way of doing things, the new way of doing things. Your old life entering into your new life. So this is about you embracing the in-between because you are moving forward, right? Flamingo spirit is looking on the up and up. It's also card 26. When you break that down, it equals eight. The strength energy, okay? You have the strength to move forward here. Even if you feel a little bit stuck at this time, right? You can move forward. Choose that path. Next, you have the buffalo, which is one of my favorites. 
Buffalo, it says the, the abundant universe will provide. That is such a, a beautiful concept that we all need to embrace more of. This can be an affirmation that you say daily. The abundant universe will provide, right? My needs are met and some. I accept all that is coming my way. It's also card 10, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is about a turning point in your life. Instead of rep repeating or repetition happening here, let's move forward. We've learned a lesson here. You've learned. You don't have to sit in purgatory with the judgment card over a past loss or things that have happened in the past because the universe is going to provide right here, right now. And last but not least, you have Seahorse Spirit, and it says, Watch and wait. Watch and wait as these miracles unfold in front of you. Because when you take one step toward the gods, they take 10 steps towards you. So this is about you standing in your strength. Again, five and three equals eight. So standing in your strength is going to allow you to move forward and move forward out of a, a challenging situation. So I definitely love your animals here. Now, last but not least, let's see which crystal, gemstone, mineral, or fossil you can use, and whoa, that one shot out like a dart here. You guys are ready. I see this in your energy. You're ready here. Pedal to the metal, but in a way that's not chaotic. But like I said, 80 on the freeway, cruise control, you're ready here just to, to, to relax and just go with the flow. Amazonite. Ooh, you have a hidden one behind it as well. Amazonite and Lemurian Quartz. Beautiful. Lemurian Quartz is a powerful one. And then Amazonite. So we'll take a look at both of these energies. Card 31 and 2. Some of you may be a two life path or in a two personal year. And then 31. So which one do we want first? We're going to read 31 first. This is all about vision. It's about big picture thinking, unlocking the secrets of infinite possibility. This is the secret right here. So listen up. Enough does not have to be enough. This is the message of Lemurian courts. Now is the time to dream big. You have the dream big with seven of cups. That's about big dreaming, right? Don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. Shoot for the stars. Now is the time to dream big because you don't have to humble yourself out of a false sense of modesty. The dreaming you do will help you envision something new that will be firmly grounded in personal prosperity for what you need and more will come to you from sources all around. The universe knows how many ways to bring a vision to fruition. So think big, dream big, and envision all that you might be and co-create, knowing that abundance belongs to you at all times. And when you see how your prosperity can support others and flow into the world, claim this vision and know that it will grow exponentially exponentially in its scope. Yeah. Believe in that now. Trust now and act as if right now. So dream big and you have that as your final outcome. So I love this for you as well. A beautiful clarifier spirit. Next we have a Mazenite card number two. This is about truth, revelation, the evolution and natural flow of events. Hello judgment card, right? This is about truth. Situations change, requiring us to change too. But we like the familiarity of old patterns, even when they aren't working. Now, however, as a potential future is revealing itself to you, you're feeling the challenge of letting go of the old and embracing the new. You can't make this up, right? We just talked about this with the flamingo. You have, an, you have enough and you are enough, but you still have some growing to do to fully embrace what is unfolding. So pay attention to what is being disclosed. Let go of your need to steer your boat or steer the car, right? Or let fear steer it and let the river of life carry you forward or let the highway on cruise control, right? Carry you forward. Ask the universe to help you be brave and enthusiastic as, as an unfamiliar map unfurls before you. And trust that its treasures will all be revealed when you are ready. Prosperity and abundance are your natural state, and you are returning to that. Open to a new plan now. A Mazenite spirit is calling you to tread a path that will take you away from the false beliefs about your potential. This is incredible. I'm loving this, loving the analogies here. So when you do meditate with the Mazenite, this stone can encourage us to explore where we are at the deepest level or explore who we are on a deeper level. It connects with the 
the heart chakra and the third eye as well. And it assists us in accelerating, which you have here, pedal to the metal, eight of wands. It helps us with accelerating, uh, let's see here, uh, what is true for us at the core of our being and asks us to own what we know is our truth when in, with an unshakable certainty and absolute confidence. I mean, this is powerful, beautiful energy here. So Aquarius, you're heading towards a lot of success, but you still feel like you're in between worlds. You still have a little growing to do as each and every one of us do, even myself, right? We're always on this path of growing. We're always on this path of new discovery. You see it showing up here with the Page of Swords but you are heading towards a really beautiful, long-standing abundance. I hope this resonates with you, beautiful souls. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. If you're vibing with the energy and haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. And I would love to see those power animals in the comment section box box below to be entered into the giveaway. Thank you so much for spending your precious time and energy here with us Aquarius. Lots of love.